Okay, we're gonna work in another attack from the side control. I'm gonna show you now a choke using his lapel and then also when he's defending the choke with his uh, other hand. Okay, so <clears throat> I pass the guard now. I isolate here. I get in the position. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open up his cross lapel here and I'm gonna pull the way that I can grab the bottom of his lapel here. On this time, what I really want, I wanna cross the lapel to the top and then get a tight lapel here, but most of the time when I do this here, I cross the lapel, the pass on top on bottom, see that I'm cross the lapel, they're gonna use this hand that is elbows in, right to the fan position to grab the lapel here. Like I'm passing and then he wants to grab the lapel. Even when he wants to grab the lapel, that's why I'm grabbing all the way here, because he's grabbing on the point, but I'm still can give the other part of the lapel to my other hand. So now, when he's here holding, I adjust a little bit the lapel, and I'm gonna keep holding here with my elbows tight, okay? So now, as you guys can see, his arm is trapped here, but, you know, like, if I try to go from a choke from here, the choke won't be tight because his hand is defending. For example, if I try to go north south choke, there's no pressure here. So what I'm gonna do it, this hand actually is gonna be good for me now. So I'm gonna keep him, I'm gonna put him a little bit, I'm gonna push him a little bit like on his back on the ground, so I isolate his arm here. Now what I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna put the knee on the side of his stomach here. Now this part of his lapel here that is loose because he's defending the choke, I'm gonna grab here and I'm gonna make a fist. So now what I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna use this lapel to pull and then this one here make a fist and then push against his neck. And this choke you, can, you don't need to use no strength, you know, like. So he's holding, as you guys can notice, his other arm here is isolated, and then his arm is trapped here because he's trying to defend the first lapel choke. Then I'm gonna posture up here. This part of the lapel that is loose because he is holding here to avoid the choke. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna push, like with my fist here, my knuckles here, against his neck with the lapel, and then finish the choke. Switch angle. Okay, we got on the side control here. I'm holding, switch my basing. Isolate his arm, get my hand under. I open up his lapel and pass all the way to the other side here. See that, notice that he's already defending the position here to avoid here to get the choke with the lapel. So now what I'm gonna do it is, I'm gonna earn my posture. It's very, very important a lot of times, always like when you're doing lapel chokes, it's important to stick your elbow and then stay tight here without open the space and the pass on bar, boom, escape the the head out, okay? So stay tight, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm pushing him a little bit and I put my knee, my shin here across his body. So now the space that I have here on the lapel, I'm gonna grab, my knuckles go against his neck here, I'm gonna pull the top, the bottom part, and then push the bottom one, the top one with my knuckles and then finish here with the choke. The choke is really tight. Okay, switch angle, switch in. Okay, I always like to switch here, use this leg here, to isolate first, then I pull. So get my hand under, open up the lapel, pass all the way to the other side. Stay tight to the lapel here, even if he's uh, defending the position. Now on my posture, stay tight to the elbow, grab the loose part of the lapel. Make a fist here, your knuckles against the neck, and then you push until you finish the position here. Very tight choke. 